Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Um, today we are going to be um, doing a tutorial on Scene Piano and how to install it on. Um, we'll be installing it on CentOS actually. So, um, in order to let's just give a quick rundown of what Scene Piano is exactly. Um, when you do install this, you should actually have a 14-day free trial of Scene Piano once you have it installed. Um, we might have to go get a license for that, but that's fine. After that, it's about two hundred dollars a year, or about you can get as low as fifteen bucks a month, I think, um, using your sources, going around, looking at other, um, going to different people's sites. You might be able to get those lower. So um, you can see that we have different kind of um, administration panels. Um, let's just go ahead, go take a look at the uh, root um, account. You can see how you have like full access of the server. Um, actually, this account does not have full access. Um, but anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started by creating this droplet. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to create and wait a couple of seconds here. Um, again, we are creating a sent OS one. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to name this one. Um, uh, I guess I'll just do C panel um, for time being. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep everything default. Uh, I'm going to use New York 2, and Ubuntu, and no, we're not using Ubuntu, we're using CentOS, and I will be using the 64-bit 6.4 version. I will then go ahead and create the server, and we should be ready to go. Um, your account information will be emailed to you. I'm going to go ahead and fetch that right now while we're waiting. I'm going to go ahead and um, pull up Putty 2. Maybe I don't have Putty. I thought I did have Putty. I'll go ahead and get Putty real quick. And I will download that. You can't see what I'm at right now, but I'll download. And we'll just get it. Alright, there's Putty. And I'm just getting my account information. Alright, now I have my um, instructions here, so my IP address, which is so, which you can see in front of your screen too. And I'm just going to go ahead and save this one, so cPanel, just because we're going to, um, this actually does take more than an hour, it takes about two hours I think. Um, it depends on how fast your server is, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and connect, I'm going to be logging in as root, and the password that they sent me in my email. We are now logged into our server. All right, so now that we're logged into our server, we're gonna um, first start out by doing um, uh, we're gonna do a yum update. Actually, forget about that for the moment. We're just gonna go ahead and do yum install Perl. It's been a while since I have used uh, CentOS. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and press yes by typing Y. Now you can see each thing downloading individually. Alright. Okay, so now after installing, we need to do one more step. Um, we have to make sure we have an FQDN. Um, if we do not have an FQDN, it will not work. Um, and you will most likely get an error. So we're just going to go ahead and get right off the bat here and put a host name on the server. And I will name this host name of cpanel.tjushack.me for Tim Bean. Um, <clears throat> I'm then going to do, I'm going to make sure this works. I'm not sure if this will work, but I'm just going to try this. Um, so I'm going to do vi and then etc hosts. I need to see if this is here, and it is here. Uh, we need to do one more here. I'm going to go ahead and press enter. Actually, go to the end of this line. Doesn't really matter. And I need to make sure I add that host here. So, 127.0.0.1. And I'm going to go ahead and name it um, cpanel and cpanel.tjushack.me. Well, no, wait, hold on. We got a cpanel. Let's just make this completely correct here. And. Uh, 
All right, so now we should no longer have host errors of any sorts. All right, now that we have that done, we're going to go ahead and actually start installing cPanel. So we gotta make sure we have screen installed. That's a pretty important part. So yum install, install screen. Okay, so once screen is installed, we can go ahead and create a new session here. So now we can do screen. We're gonna hold and save this as cPanel and then install. So we're gonna do just cPanel. And then once we're in this screen, so what's gonna happen is, and I done that wrong, we're gonna do screen like this. What's gonna happen is um, we're gonna end up leaving this and it's still gonna be able to work on what it needs to do and we can reattach to the screen later on. So, <coughs> excuse me. We're going to go ahead and, we're going to, sorry, we're gonna need to um, get cPanel in WHM. So in order to do so, we're gonna do apt get n and then HTTP, too many T's there, and then we'll go ahead to our slashes here and then we're gonna do HTTP update dot cPanel dot net latest. All right, so now we're just going to go ahead and press enter and we got the file there. And now we are going to go ahead and do sh latest. And now it's going to start installing CPM. Now, as we can see, it looks like this may take a little while, so that's good. We have um, screen installed, so that's important. We can now go ahead and uh, basically do control ad and you'll be out of that screen, it's still running. I'll go ahead and actually close out of the cPanel window and show you that it's still running. So we're gonna go okay. And now I'm going to go back to a putty here and go back to cPanel and get my password that was sent to me, my email. My username is root on default and I just right click after I copied my password. Now I'm back in and now we can do screen ls and then I can do screen R and then 1188. And then I can see what's going on exactly. So as we can see, it's still downloading. And it looks like this here might take a while. So again, it can take up to two hours. So it just depends on how fast your machine is, what's exactly going on in your machine, um, et cetera, stuff like that. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that has to be done for the actual installation. So. I'm just going to go ahead and let this go. I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back later. All right, welcome back. And uh, cPanel has finished installing. It has been a total of 41 minutes and 30 seconds. Um, that's not too bad considering what all it had to do. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, close out of this for now. We don't need this anymore. So um, you did see how you can re um, reboot um, and you should be able to do that fine so I don't want that I don't know what I was doing um, I'm going to go ahead and log in as root and the password of I need to get a password hold on one second all right I got my password so you're gonna log in as your default root um, and the password of whatever your system password is and you're gonna go ahead and that's not the right password though so get the password and log in so as we can see login has been in uh, corrected Okay, so first things first, you're gonna have to go through the installation, which is perfectly fine. Um, we are running on a VPS, that's why it is accelerated. Okay, so um, I'm gonna, I agree. So the server contact email, that's uh, just gonna be um, whatever your email address, so you're at email.com. Um, I'm not gonna be using the server for anything, so this is fine. Um, so your server um, hostname is gonna be that, and basically these here will uh, stay the same. You're not gonna have, um, yeah, Etho, that's fine. Save and go to the next step. You're only gonna have one IP address, um, and that's the only one here. Okay, so we're going to, uh, this one's the active one, so we're gonna skip and continue. Um, I'm just going to use bind. It's really the, um, well, it's the best way to use it for small, setups uh, not so big that'd be fine um, and your name servers um, and you just go ahead and add your name server entries 
and well you can but it's just going to be the same for both that's going to be the issue here so you're going to have to get another IP address or um, but DigitalOcean does not allow more than one IP address on a server um, that will be the issue um, so I'm going to go ahead and press save and continue All right, and then you can see your FTP system. Um, we will use Dovecot. Basically, everything here is going to be the same. So we'll save and continue. And then you'll see at the next step we have services. All right, and now we have quotas, and we will just continue using the file system quotas. Er, yeah, we want to do that. All right, so now we're done, and. If you just showcase here, you don't need to do this. Um, so just save settings. And it will go ahead and continue all these. And there we go. And our setup has basically been completed. Uh, it's a trial period of about 14 days, if I'm thinking right. Um, so you can use this for a couple days here. So you can basically go over everything you see here. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, there is a lot of options. A lot of options. I mean, there's a lot of options. I mean, seriously. Um, anyways, you can restart your server. You can add accounts. And you're, you're good to go now. I mean, the hard part's done. So um, th this has been a tutorial. If you have any questions about cPanel itself and want, want future tutorials done on cPanel, go ahead and send me a message. And I can go ahead and add more. Um, and I think that's about it. So thanks for uh, watching this. And if you have any questions, just please give me a uh, comment here. Um, and please comment, like, subscribe, and like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. Thanks, and have a great day.